All right, okay, that was a little embarrassing. I ran out of memory there. <clears throat> but basically, to get back to what I was saying is, is I've done the cap changes and stuff like that in radios. I mean, the Goldfinger mods and this and that. and They're okay. Uh, they just didn't seem to pass what I thought they would do. Uh, basically made the audio a little bit too dull. So that's kind of why I'm demoing something like this. You know, basically stock 29, all that's done is variable power. Um, the limiter is... Uh, you know, it's still in there, but it's opened pretty much wide up because I use the rack gear for my limiter. Okay, so you know, I have a limiter function in here, and I use that. Um, you know, everybody has their own thing. You know, guys say that you got to have the limiter in the radio and this and that. And I don't know about all that. I think it's just a matter of the way you adjust everything. And if you keep it looking good on the scope, hey, you're great. You know, and as long as you ain't tearing up nothing in the hood, you're fine with that. But just to give you a little sample. Cobra 29, this mic, I'm going to kind of listen to it through my Yezu. This is barefoot, but let's see if you can get a little gist on what it sounds like. One, two, one, two, three, break, break, break. Hello, radio, audio, one, two, three. Now, granted, we are in the shop together, and you do hear a little bit of a delay, but that's only because the radios are so close together, okay? But that's basically a stock 29. I'm going to be right back. This is a modded 29. It's not my comp tune on it, but it's got a 69 firing on it, and it's got some mods done on it. So I'm just going to flip around radios and let you listen. I'm not going to touch the app at all. We're just going to flip radios, and I'm going to show you how versatile this program is going through different radios. So I'll be right back. Okay, now we're down to the black face, and basically both these are Philly radios, okay? Both of them are Philly 29s. I just uh, put a little custom face on here. But I didn't touch anything between the two radios. Uh, be honest with you about the only thing I had to do because I did fire it up before I really keyed is I had to set the mic gain down just a little bit and that's the cool thing about this I don't have to touch the rack gear I just have to either touch the gain control here or the physical mic gain on the radio so and this is what we got now I did do some cap changes on the audio but I didn't do the gold finger I did my own and basically uh, I brought the highs up a little bit is all I did um, because you can bring up so much bass, and I wanted to pass highs a little bit more than the bass, but uh, that's to each their own. But this is a listen to what it sounds like. One, two, three, break, break, break. Hello, radio. Breaker, breaker, breaker. Test. We're testing the iPad app right about now. Break, break, break. Okay, and that's the uh, that's a 29. That's a little modified. Um, that's not a comp tune. Uh, I don't know if I have a comp tune uh, just laying around here right at the moment. Uh, maybe that'll be something uh, for another day, but uh, let me uh, I'm gonna throw another radio in line and let you get another logistics of this All right now basically uh, all I've done is I threw my 142 in line um, Which is similar to the Washington's and that kind of style radio um, did, Like I said, I didn't change any of the settings on the iPad app. All I did was plug the microphone in I used the mic gain to adjust or the uh, headphone jack and that's all I have to do I haven't had to touch anything else now listen to this now, I mean, as you can see, each radio kind of has a different tonage, so you can adjust that out in the iPad app, but that just tells you how versatile this is. I can flip around radios and really don't have to touch the app if I don't want to, which is kind of what I've been doing here in the last couple of weeks of playing with it. I've kind of made my settings, and I just adjust the gains up. Now I'm going to do one more test, and we're going to put in a Cobra 2000, and uh, we're going to see what that does. I'll be right back. Okay, the last of the Mohicans, uh, I put in here the uh, famous uh, Cobra 2000. Uh, that's the radio we're going to, I just tuned this up for a, a customer uh, just the other day. Um, so, uh, you know, I haven't shipped this out yet. Matter of fact, I'm going to try to get this on the air this evening, maybe get some water gates of it so this fella can hear it out in California. But uh, we're going to run the iPad app through it, and uh, here's a listen to what this sounds like. And like I said, all I've done is <laughs> just adjusted the mic gain a little bit. And this is what we got. One, two, one, two, three, four. Break, break, break. Hello, radio. One, two, audio. Breaker, breaker. This is a test on the iPad app. Going through my gauge for a receive radio. Breaker, breaker. Now... Granted, I probably could have touched the mic gain up a little bit more in here or turned the volume knob up. Every radio has a little bit tonage difference. But this just goes to show you that you can kind of get hi-fi on the economy down low without having to go crazy modifying your radio. Now, the other cool thing is, is 
everybody complains when they go hi-fi that they lose their watts okay and with this system you don't because basically it's kind of like adding a power mic to your system but, but without a power mic okay so you know you're 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 I don't want to say it's a power mic type of deal because you have all these options of, of tuning in or tailoring your audio. So it's much more than say a power mic. But that's physically, in, in reality, that's kind of what this is like, is like just plugging in a power mic to your radio. Now I've done direct injected with this system. It doesn't seem like it has enough oomph to push the audio through the radio so you might need a little helping hand with that like a mixer or something. Or, you know, I direct inject it, you know, a, a couple radios in front of the audio chip to try to use the audio chip for the amp, but it still just didn't seem like it was powerful enough to do it that way either. Um, I found the best way to do it really is through the mic. Now, you can change around some, some capacitors in the radio if you feel like it, but like this radio here has no capacitors done in the audio circuit. We kind of left it that way because this guy runs different microphones. I didn't want to get into you know putting in the different caps now the only one that's got any audio catch change was this black one okay the rest of them are pretty much factory fresh even my 142 you know I mean yeah I've got a few mods in it but the capacitors in the audio circuit are factory fresh I did try the mods on it it really dulled out the receive the, the, the audio I'm saying in it I haven't done the receive yet but um, other than that there you go uh, an economy way to go hi-fi, especially if you already own an iPad. If you don't, it's still not a bad deal. But I figured I'd let everybody in the CB world know this is a way to get some real tailored hi-fi style audio out there. Um, I've not really threw it on my uh, program over here, but I'm still going to do a couple things with it. I have uh, some engineering software that I use to, to tailor the audio a little bit more to that. But there you go. Hi-fi economy wise on the iPad uh, using the iRig. Have a great one. Hope you learned something today. Maybe you might be interested. I'm not trying to sell this deal. This is something that you would have to go buy yourself and set it up your own way. If you want me to tune the radio, that's a different story. But uh, I just figured I'd let the uh, general public know what it's about. Old Stickman at the No Name Amp Shop, and I'm back quiet.